We begin tonight with a story you'll only see on nine. Crystal Cunningham Anderson, an Eastwood High School graduate and former Kansas City Chiefs cheerleader, has died after giving birth to her daughter, who also did not survive. Good evening, everyone, and thank you so much for tuning in to KTSM 9 News at 6. At 10, I should say, I'm Monica Cortez. Her death is just one of many as the number of women who die from co complications in childbirth grows in the U.S. KTSM 9 News reporter Skylar Soto joins us in the studio tonight with words from those who knew Crystal for who she was. Skylar. Monica, today friends and family are mourning the loss of the El Paso native after the announcement made about Crystal through the Kansas City Chiefs social media. But while grieving, those who knew her best say they want to remember her for the light she was and her dream of becoming a mother to two children. James Charles and now Charlotte Willow, who was stillborn. She always wanted to be a mother. At 21 weeks pregnant, Crystal Cunningham Anderson unexpectedly died after giving birth to her stillborn daughter on March 20th. A fever led to an infection which claimed her life. And according to Dr. Sarishi Reddy, an OBGYN with Texas Tech University Health Science Center, Crystal is not alone. Women are extremely strong and indestructible, which is a fantastic thing. But, you know, we have to understand that, you know, any pregnancy can turn into a high risk situation. The CDC reports there is an uptick in the number of women dying due to complications with pregnancy, jumping from 17.4 deaths per 100,000 live births in 2018 to 32.9 in 2021. Today, those close to Crystal remembering what they say was a caring, helpful, and outgoing person. Crystal and I, years ago, would spend nights on the phone all night and plan life and want job, talk about the jobs we wanted. And she loved sparkly things. She had big, bright, sparkly shoes because it matched who she was. She was truly um, the light. Bishop Anthony remembering her as someone who strived to achieve her goals. Even though it was a short time as the 40 years that she spent on earth, but she accomplished a great deal. And if Crystal were here today, they'd say, I love you. If you could see her, just imagine how, how beautiful a real crystal with a C is, an expensive crystal, and like a diamond in the sky. So every time we think of her, I think of a bright star. Her legacy will forever live. It will never die. A GoFundMe was set up for Crystal to cover medical expenses she incurred, her services, and to establish a legacy fund to support causes and initiatives that were close to her heart. And we have that over up on our website, ktsm.com. 